Welcome to my channel Amateur Radio Universe. Today I am going to talk about the RF or Radio Frequency Signal Strength Meter. We will go through the definition, working principles, practical uses and applications of this device. We will also see how to construct an RF signal strength meter. Definition of RF SSM An RF signal strength meter is a device in radio electronics which helps to detect the strength of an incoming radio signal in a radio receiver. It differs from a field strength meter where it measures the strength of the radio frequency field near a radio transmitter. An RF signal strength meter shows the nature of the incoming radio signal in a radio receiver, such as signal strength, fading, signal drifting, overlapping, presence of background noise, etc. The signal strength is indicated by the LEDs in a linear fashion. The weak signals are indicated by the lower values of the meter, such as glowing of the green LEDs, whereas stronger signals are indicated by glowing of the red LEDs. Working of an RF signal strength meter the signal input to the meter is given from the last IF amplifier section of the receiver through a low value coupling capacitor. The RF signal is then amplified by an RF amplifier stage. This amplified AC signal is then converted to DC voltage using two 1 and 4 and 4 8 diodes. The fall and rise time of this varying signal is maintained using a timing circuit consisting of 1 microfarad capacitor and 10 kilo ohm resistor. The DC output from the stage is given to the fifth pin of the LM3914 LED display driver IC. It senses the analog voltage levels at the input and drives 10 LEDs providing a linear analog display. The LEDs glow according to the strength of the input radio frequency signal. It can display the signal in a dot or a bar graph. The IC runs on a voltage range between 3 volts to 12 volts. The signal input can be adjusted using a 4.7 kilo ohm potentiometer in series with the input capacitor. Applications of RF signal strength meter One RF signal strength meter is used in radio receivers to understand the signal pattern of a station such as signal strength, fading, signal drifting, overlapping, etc. Two, it helps to assess the signal received and to send a signal report. Three, it is used to check the output signal strength of an oscillator or VFO. 4. It is used to tune and align the tuned circuits or tuned amplifier stages. 5. It is used as a test equipment for checking the RF signal strength at various stages of a radio receiver or transmitter. 6. It can be used to study the band condition by repetitive monitoring of stations at specific intervals.